According to Governor Ben Ayade of Cross River State, the real growth is human growth. And that's why I do not believe in gross domestic product. I believe in human happiness in this. Yet, six years after, the state is still cross river of the seats. You can still remember with nostalgia the golden years of Donald Duke's tenure as governor of Cross River State that witnessed the construction of humongous, never seen before, 60 billion naira Tenapa free trade zone and resorts, the cable cars, Obudu Mountain Resort, the original Calabar Carnival in the early 2000s on the 207, and then the lack of activities during the tenure of Senator Lee Moke as governor, described by the opposition as the sleeping governor. And then came Professor Ben Ayade, who anchored his administration on zero oil roadmap and promised to turn the state into Las Vegas, the most beautiful city on earth. Most people didn't take the governor serious, and I didn't too, not just because of the meaninglessness of his budget names, but the unrealistic nature of, of same. Imagine, budget of Olympotic meristemesis, budget of Kabbalistic densification, or budget of kino, kin, kinetic crystallization. Pardon me, you see, even the names are job breaking. I mean, do not laugh. No serious minded governor will give budget this kind of clownish name and expect people to take him seriously. Anyway, only God even know where in they see all those kind of big, big names. Eh? June 30th, 2015, the governor, sweet talking guy, announced that an Israeli company by name Broad Spectrum Industrial Services Limited with over 30 years experience in project financing, had signed an agreement with him to fund his signature project, which included a state-owned seaport, a 10-lane, 240-kilometer superhighway commencing from Calabar to Obudu, and a cement and mining company to the tune of 50 million euros. Today, six years after, apart from the fact that the company has no presence online, the seaport is existing like a no-state seaport, Gelegele seaport, only in the mind of the governor. The other project mentioned are non-existent, save the cleared part of the superhighway that has been abandoned. No work is going on there. Only the consistent legal and illegal logging of woods by people said to be associated with government. Now, see for yourself. In 2017, the governor once again promised to build the most fantastic, cleanest, most sophisticated and the most digital, digitally beautiful city on earth called Calas Vegas. Today, five years standing, on the kilometer, the three kilometer by three kilometer is one hot and large bushes. How the man if he sleep with all this plenty lies? Eh? It didn't baffle me. In January 2018, the governor proposed a one billion naira banana farm in Calabai to road in Udupani local government area, and another one in Boki that we employ 2,000 youth and turn Calabar to a banana exporting country. Today, 2021, they are still looking for bananas in those places. Almost a scam. In April 2018, the governor also announced that his government was almost completing a state-of-the-art cross-river fully owned pharmaceutical company to be known as Cala Farms, whose responsibility it will be to produce water organization standards, essential medicine and vaccines for primary health with interest in mother and child health. And like Yoruba would say, in 2021, Lori Rong, Kala Farm is under lock and key. Nothing they happen there. How about the governor's promises of building at least one industry in each of the 18 local governments of the state, like Obudu Automated Electro Electronic Metering Factory, the Garment Factory, Ethanol Processing Factory, and Sesame Seed Processing Factory? The promise to make Obudukato Ranch the most attractive center to visit in Nigeria. Unsukebe, na lie, as the place they rot away. If you ask for the Obaniku rice flour processing factory, the Yala cotton processing factory, Abina Bekwara Edibo vegetable oil, or Ogoja ultra modern rice mill, Boki Palm oil processing factory, and Ikom cocoa processing industry, you might be arrested like Agba Jalingo. Don't even mention Akwabuyo fertilizer factory, Akankwa pose, pies and pylon industry, or Obubra Garivitas industry. You will find trouble for yourself. His promise of turning Bakasi to the beautiful city of Lugano in Switzerland only saw the building of 52 units of two-bedroom bungalows 
for over the 3,000 displaced Bakasi families. At least, him try for that one, even though the people have been displaced by hoodlums. What of Abi Songhai Farms, which the governor traveled everywhere to advertise? Or is it um, the Yako Organic Bamboo and Toothpick Factory? Not to mention the Etung Water Bottling Factory and the Calabar South International Fish Market in Kum, Bakasi Fish Processing Factory. How about the construction and fabrication academy in Bakasi? All of these are still in the realm of dream. And far from reali reality, less than two years to the end of the governor's eight year in office. The funniest part in the Cross River is the Cross River Government Factory, Cross River Rice City, Kalachika, Kalanudos, Ultra Modern Central Park, and the 23 megawatts embedded power plant. Once the governor just dreams it, he will propose it with fanfare and high sounding grammar, only to cry later about his inability to achieve it. What the person no go see with governor Ayade does not exist. I will therefore advocate, as elections are approaching, go out there and register if you have not yet done so. Don't sell your vote or voter's card, as that's the only power you have to make a change in government. Governors should learn to promise less and do more. Appointing almost everyone in Cross River as aides to the governor on mega salaries will stop hunger and corruption. But when you truly spend the money to build functional industries that will in turn, create meaningful employment opportunities and prosperity for all. And as AGF, Advocate General of the Federation, I speak to the youth. Let them understand that they can only be leaders of tomorrow if they refuse themselves to be used as political talks to those who don't mean well for them. For a little fire you live today can leave you without a little tomorrow. See you next week as we astray yet another state in the build-up to 2023. Kindly vote for the next state to be Ezra by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Screen on Your Screen. Bye-bye for now.